Welcome to this video playing against Bruma from France. Yeah, so let's hope this game will be somewhat better than the two warm up games that I played and lost terribly. <laughs> this, um, the kind of games that always make me uh, a bit angry <laughs> against those type of players who just instantly bash out moves. And um, yeah. We always feel like, uh, what, he's playing this so quickly, how is he possible, how can he possibly do that? And still they can. All right, um, this is a strange one with c5. Um, yeah, this is, I took it and tried to keep the pawn. It looks a bit artificial, but still, it's an important pawn. Let's see, should I go queen a4 to, to make sure to keep it, maybe. Yeah, he can maybe capture and play knight a6, trying to keep the pawn. Uh, sorry, trying to uh, get it back. All right, he's got um, knight e4 and knight g4 also after the trade. Hmm. Yeah, probably this wasn't such a great idea. It just feels um, like... Um, lacking some harmony in my position okay so he probably yeah still knight g4 hmm. Hmm. yeah this is really ugly chess huh? hmm. okay i'm still doing it i'd like to um prevent the knight moves to e4 and g4 possibly and get a place for this bishop on f2 mm, yeah very interesting all the at least I'm not a behind on the clock. He can try this tactical shots like knight e4 and knight g4 here, but I can take a5. This should just win material. Now, after knight g4, I cannot take the knight because of bishop c3, but um, still I can first take on a5. Okay. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty good in terms of keeping the pawn, but um, still he has compensation. Rook c1 would return the pawn immediately. So I wonder, do I really need to move the king here? Very ugly. Mm, yeah. yeah, I need to keep it. I mean, <laughs> if I return the pawn, how good can my position be? Yeah, that exactly, that's exactly the problem, opening it up further. I take here, rook d6 is coming. Mm, yeah, still not, not much choice. Okay, well here there's bishop c5. Knight a6, bishop a3. Trying to, to keep the position closed. And e4. Yeah, this is the kind of die. Don't try this at home game. <laughs> hmm, yeah. Sometimes everyone's everyone can be guilty of greed, and I was greedy here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good move, good move. Intending knight takes d6. Hmm. Yeah, my development is just terrible. Hmm. E4, knight takes and the king move. Yeah, but he can open it up with f5 and... and uh, wow. Hmm. 
yeah, not much choice. Okay, knight takes c4 is a big threat. Yeah, I don't know where the the king is um, safest, relatively speaking. Maybe back here. Yeah, he still has a huge uh, initiative. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I know the bishops, but at least I'm speeding up my development a bit. I mean, okay, the bishops are just half of the problem. The the light squares is the real the real deal. Okay, be here. Now he can take on c3 and on c5 to get the pawn back, but this should at least should should check. Yes, but this this keeps uh, I think me out of immediate danger if I get get this exchange now. Check. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This should should be um should be okay for uh, for white. Okay, rook d1 and king e3, something like that, should be okay to to equalize. Possibly b4. Oh, I can go b4 now. Oh, this this was a blunder. Taking on b5 with a check and winning a pawn. Check. Check. So I won a pawn. Is it enough to win the game though? Okay, now I can take and play f4. This should be excellent. Getting getting to d4 and I have knight d1 to e3. Um, yes, or even d5. Yeah, I'm getting e4 as well. That's the important thing. Yeah, I probably was in trouble. I mean, this was far too greedy in the opening. Black resigns. And frankly speaking, a very artificial play on from my side. Yeah, I don't know. C5 is quite strange here in this exact position. But okay, maybe you can play that and just transpose this to Benoni. I tried to refute it somehow. And uh, probably this isn't such a great idea. I mean, maybe it's playable, but it's um, certainly nothing, nothing great. I mean, what he did was fine to get a good compensation. Yeah, and here black must be fine, really. Yeah, computer gives black a substantial advantage, just like he played. And here it's a matter of precision, which is often the problem in blitz. You you know that you, you have a good position, <clears throat> but you don't uh, find the the right moves. This is very um, similar to the the uh, the gambit in the Zemish, um, but um, with c5. But here I'm I'm even worse in terms of coordination. Yeah, it was everything was was excellent. And here, yeah. I think this is just this is too um, um, a little bit too materialistic. It, it it just helps me to coordinate, exchanging this monster bishop against this a4 knight. He wanted to probably clarify the situation, but it's probably good to to just let me 
make a move here. It's not easy. We can maybe just improve further. Check. After this, I think it, it should be equal, really. Uh, the worst Check. is definitely over here. And here we are, we're just talking about an equal position. Yeah, but this this just blunders, blunders. Uh, I guess the game away. I don't really check, think that uh, this is uh, that you can save that. Yeah, White is winning here. There's no reason why it shouldn't. It's uh, it's uh, a passer, the B farm, and there are some weaknesses in Black structure. So not huge ones, but uh, things that White White can exploit. So this was a bit lucky. Uh, this is not really advisable what I did here, trying to hang on to the pawn in this way. All right, thanks for watching.